continue to bring you the latest updates from every county in our area. We begin with Scott Johnson, who's been looking into insurance claims and what homeowners need to know. Scott? Well, Joy, insurance can go a long ways in some cases, but if a tree comes down at the wrong time, it's the wrong thing, may not always help. Today, Mayor Lenny Curry announced the First Coast Relief Fund to help homeowners could go a big step toward helping people through this very difficult time. Mark Matthews and his young family evacuated ahead of the storm, and they had a very young reason. She was the main reason why we did, so we probably would have tried to uh, yeah. wait it out if, you know, if she wasn't here, but obviously we're glad we did. So. They returned home to a tree that fell from their neighbor's property onto their home. Insurance covers everything from our side over, um, which it's an act of God. This issue comes up after every major storm. Put simply, if a tree falls from someone else's property on your house, your insurance is responsible to pay, unless the tree was not maintained or rotted out. It's an act of nature. I prefer not to blame God. It's an act of nature. So blew over. I met up with insurance agent Matt Carlucci at a client's home where a tree fell but did not damage her home, so she doesn't have the money to pay to remove it. He was happy to hear of the relief fund Mayor Curry announced today to help these people who might fall through the insurance cracks. But really, what her problem is not needing food and water, she needs help with the cost of whatever it is to take that tree down. First Coast Relief Fund to help people who maybe had trees on their homes or part of their property. They had around a $500,000 donation from various charities around the area. They're still collecting money to help people out. If you'd like information on how to help, where to donate, you can go to newsforjacks.com. We've got the information there. We're live tonight. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.